namin Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagagampanan na huwag maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. A blessed morning, dear students. Welcome to another session of Valenzuela Live Mathematics 7. We are now in week 4 of quarter 2. For today's lesson, we are going to have a lot of computations to make. So please prepare your pen and paper where you can write your solution. Also, try to recall how to add and subtract integers because we will be using those concepts in our lesson for today. Our lesson for today is addition and subtraction of polynomials. Based on the most essential learning competencies set by the Department of Education, at the end of this session, you should be able to add and subtract polynomials. For our first activity, let us see how much you remember our lesson last week about terms and literal coefficients. All you have to do is to identify the expression which has the same literal coefficients to the given terms, meaning they have the same variables raised to the same powers. For example, x squared and 5x squared. They have the same literal coefficient which is x squared. Now, are you ready? You have 5 seconds to write your answer in our comment box below. Number 1. Negative 7a. Is it letter A, negative 2b? Or is it letter B, positive 12a? 5 seconds, go! If your answer is letter B, then you are correct. Number 2. Positive 4x cubed. Is it letter C, negative 6x cubed? Or is it letter D, positive 3x squared? 5 seconds, go! If your answer is letter C, then you are correct. Number 3, x squared y. Is it letter E, positive 7xy squared? Or is it letter F, negative 3x squared y? 5 seconds, go! If your answer is letter F, then you are correct. Number 4. A, B squared. Is it letter G, negative 3 A, B squared? Or is it letter H, positive 7 A squared B? 5 seconds, go! Very good. The correct answer is letter G. Next. Number 5, m cubed n. Is it letter I, negative 2m cubed? Or is it letter J, 6m cubed n? 5 seconds, go! Alright, the correct answer is letter J. Now, consider the following pairs of terms. What do you call these terms? Alright, they are 
similar terms. And what are similar terms? Similar terms are terms having the same literal coefficient, meaning same variable and same exponent. These are the following examples of similar terms from our first activity. Negative 7a and positive 12a are similar terms since they have the same literal coefficient, which is a. x squared y and negative 3x squared y are similar terms since they have the same literal coefficient, which is x squared y. 4x cubed and negative 6x cubed are similar terms since they have the same literal coefficient, which is x cubed. A B squared and negative 3 A B squared are similar terms since they have the same literal coefficient which is A B squared. And M cubed N and positive 6 M cubed N are similar terms since they have the same literal coefficient which is M cubed N. Take note of this. We can only add and subtract similar terms. Let us now proceed in combining similar terms. In order to add or subtract polynomials, it's important to understand how to combine terms. Again, we can only combine terms together if they are similar. If they are not, we have to keep them separate. To add or subtract similar terms, we add or subtract the numerical coefficients and copy the literal coefficient. For example, let's add 5x and 3x. First, we must add the numerical coefficients. 5 plus 3 is 8. Next, copy the literal coefficient, which is x. Therefore, the sum of 5x and 3x is 8x. Next, if we're going to subtract 3x from 5x, we must subtract the numerical coefficient first. 5 minus 3 is 2. Then, copy the literal coefficient, which is x. Therefore, the difference when 3x is subtracted from 5x is 2x. Moving on, if it helps, we can think of each literal coefficient as a specific shape. Let's say we have 2x plus 3y plus 4x plus 5y. We can represent the x's as circles and y's as triangles. So we will have two circles plus three triangles plus four circles plus five triangles. Again, we can combine terms if they have the same literal coefficient, or in this case, the same shape. This means that we will have a total of 6 circles and 8 triangles. Therefore, the resulting expression is 6x plus 8y. And here's one more example with shapes to help us visualize the combining of similar terms. Let's say we have negative 2x plus 4x plus 3y. Since we have a positive and negative x term, we will represent it in one shape, specifically circle, but with two different colors. Positive x as red circle, negative x as blue circle, and y as triangle. First, we need to represent each term with the following shapes. So we will have two blue circles plus four red circles and three triangles. Next, we must group the similar shape together if possible and remove pairs that is equal to zero. Take note, since the sum of a number and its opposite is zero, together, a red circle and a blue circle represent zero and are called a zero pair. At this point, we can now simplify. 
This means that we will have a total of two red circles and three triangles. Therefore, the resulting expression is 2x plus 3y. Are you ready for the next activity? All right. In this activity, all you have to do is to place the given terms on the column that is similar to it. Then, press the heart reaction if the given term is similar to xy. Press the wow reaction if the given term is similar to x squared y. Press the like reaction if the given term is similar to x y squared. You have 5 seconds to answer. First term, negative 2x squared y. Is it heart, wow, or like? Let's react. Go! If your answer is wow, then you are correct. Next term, positive 8xy. Is it heart, wow, or like? Let's react. Go! Very good. The correct answer is heart. Next term, positive 3xy squared. Is it heart, wow, or like? Let's react. Go! If your answer is like, then you are correct. Next term. Positive 7x squared y. Is it heart, wow, or like? Let's react. Go! Very good. The correct answer is... Wow! Next term. Negative 9xy squared. Is it heart, wow, or light? Let's react. Go! If your answer is like, then you are correct. And for the last term, Negative 4xy. Is it heart, wow, or like? Let's react. Go! Very good. The correct answer is heart. All right. You did a great job. Let us now proceed with the addition of polynomials. To add polynomials, we just need to combine the similar terms. And how to combine similar terms? Just get the sum of the numerical coefficients and copy the same literal coefficients. And if there is more than one term for convenience, write similar terms in the same column. Let's try the example number one. Find the sum of the binomial 4x plus 3 and the binomial 6x minus 1. To show these two separate polynomials being added, we will have the quantity of 4x plus 3 plus the quantity of 6x minus 1. But since we have the addition as the operation, we can simply remove the parentheses. We can rewrite it as 4x plus 3 plus 6x minus 1. Now, we can combine the similar terms. We can rewrite them adjacent to each other. So we will have 4x plus 6x plus 3 
minus 1. Simplifying the similar terms, first, 4x plus 6x. Add the numerical coefficients, 4 plus 6 is 10. Then copy the literal coefficient, which is x. So we will have 10x. Next, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Therefore, the sum of 4x plus 3 and 6x minus 1 is 10x plus 2. It is important to write the sign of the terms whether it is positive or negative to separate the terms with the other terms. Another way of simplifying these polynomials is to align the similar terms using column. In other words, we will add it vertically. To begin with, we will combine the similar terms by aligning them vertically. Write the first polynomial, 4x plus 3, then add the second polynomial, 6x minus 1. Since we're done aligning the similar terms, we can now simplify it. 4x plus 6x, add the numerical coefficients, 4 plus 6 is 10. Then copy the literal coefficient, which is x. So we will have 10x. Next, positive 3 plus negative 1 is equal to positive 2. Thus, the sum of 4x plus 3 and 6x minus 1 is 10x plus 2. Let us now proceed with example number 2. Find the sum of the trinomial 5x squared minus 2x plus 10 and the trinomial 3x squared minus 7x plus 2. To write this separately, we will have the quantity 5x squared minus 2x plus 10 plus the quantity 3x squared minus 7x plus 2. But again, since we have the addition as the operation, we can simply remove the parentheses and nothing will change. We can rewrite it as 5x squared minus 2x plus 10 plus 3x squared minus 7x plus 2. Now, we can combine the similar terms. We can rewrite them adjacent to each other. So we will have 5x squared plus 3x squared minus 2x minus 7x plus 10 plus 2. Simplifying the similar terms, 5x squared plus 3x squared, add the numerical coefficients, 5 plus 3 is 8. Then copy the literal coefficient, which is x squared. So we will have 8x squared. Next, negative 2x minus 7x. Take note that this expression is the same as negative 2x plus negative 7x. So we will have negative 9x. Lastly, 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. Therefore, the sum of 5x squared minus 2x plus 10 and 3x squared minus 7x plus 2 is 8x squared minus 9x plus 12. Now, let us add it vertically. Again, to begin with, we will combine the similar terms by aligning them vertically. Write the first polynomial, 5x squared minus 2x plus 10, then add the second polynomial. 3x squared minus 7x plus 2. Since we're done aligning the similar terms, we can now simplify it. 5x squared plus 3x squared, add the numerical coefficients. 5 plus 3 is 8. Then copy the same literal coefficient, which is x squared. So we will have 8x squared. Next, Negative 2x plus negative 7x. Add the numerical coefficients. Negative 2 plus negative 7 is negative 9. Then copy the same literal coefficient, which is x. So we will have 
negative 9x. Lastly, 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. Thus, the sum of 5x squared minus 2x plus 10 and 3x squared minus 7x plus 2 is 8x squared minus 9x plus 12. And for the last example for additional polynomials, let's try this. Example number 3. Find the sum of the binomial 4m squared minus 10p squared, the binomial 5m squared plus mp, and the binomial 5p squared minus 8mp. To separate these three polynomials being added, we will have the following. But again, we can simply remove the parentheses. We can rewrite it as 4m squared minus 10p squared plus 5m squared plus mp plus 5p squared minus 8mp. Now, we can combine and simplify the similar terms. 4m squared plus 5m squared add the numerical coefficients 4 plus 5 is 9, then copy the literal coefficient, which is m squared, so we will have 9m squared. Next, negative 10p squared plus 5p squared. Add the numerical coefficients, negative 10 plus 5 is equal to negative 5. Then copy the same literal coefficient, which is p squared. So we will have negative 5p squared. Lastly, positive mp minus 8mp. Take note that this expression is the same as mp plus negative 8mp. So we will have negative 7mp. Therefore, the sum is 9m squared minus 5p squared minus 7mp. But we can rewrite our final answer by arranging the terms in descending order. With that, it can also be written as 9m squared minus 7mp minus 5p squared. And to add it using column, at first, we will combine the similar terms by aligning them vertically. Write the first polynomial, 4m squared minus 10p squared. Then add the second polynomial, 5m squared plus mp. Then the last polynomial, 5p squared minus 8mp. Since we're done aligning the similar terms, we can now simplify it. 4m squared plus 5m squared is equal to 9m squared. We add the numerical coefficients, 4 plus 5 is 9, then copy the literal coefficient which is m squared. Next, negative 10p squared plus 5p squared. Add the numerical coefficients, negative 10 plus positive 5, we will have negative 5, then copy the same literal coefficient, which is p squared. Lastly, mp plus negative 8mp. Add the numerical coefficients, 1 plus negative 8 is negative 7, then copy the same literal coefficient, which is mp. So we will have negative 7mp. Therefore, the sum is 9m squared minus 5p squared minus 7mp. Let us now proceed with the subtraction of polynomials. To subtract polynomials, at first, keep the minuend or the first polynomial. Next, change the subtraction symbol to addition symbol. Then change the sign of each term in the subtrahend or in the second polynomial. Lastly, simplify by combining the like terms. Or to remember it easily, think of this mnemonic. KCCS. Keep, change, change, simplify.
Let us try the first example. Find the difference of the binomial 7p minus 8 diminished by the binomial 9p plus 3. To solve this one, we will have the quantity of 7p minus 8 minus the quantity of 9p plus 3. 7p minus 8 is the minuend or the first polynomial. 9p plus 3 is the subtrahend or the second polynomial. Applying the following steps in subtracting polynomials, first keep the minuend, just copy 7p minus 8. Next, change the subtraction symbol to addition symbol from minus sign to plus sign. Then change the sign of each term in the subtrahend. 9p plus 3 will become negative 9p minus 3. We can now simplify. Adding the similar terms, we will have 7p plus negative 9p. Add the numerical coefficients, 7 plus negative 9 is negative 2. Then copy the literal coefficient which is p. So we will have negative 2p. Next, negative 8 plus negative 3. So we will have negative 11. Therefore, the difference of the binomial 7p minus 8 diminished by the binomial 9p plus 3 is negative 2p minus 11. We can also subtract this problem using columns, but be extra careful when subtracting this vertically. We can only subtract straight down if the similar terms are lined up. Let's begin. First, write the mean you win. 7p minus 8. Keep it the same. Next, change the subtraction symbol to addition symbol from minus sign to plus sign. Then change the sign of each term in the subtrahend. 9p plus 3 will become negative 9p minus 3. Align it under the minuend. Since the similar terms are all lined up, we can now simplify it. Adding the similar terms, we will have 7p plus negative 9p. Add the numerical coefficients. 7 plus negative 9 is negative 2. Then copy the literal coefficient, which is p. So we will have negative 2p. Next, negative 8 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 11. Therefore, the difference is negative 2p minus 11. Let's proceed to the next example. Subtract the trinomial 6m squared minus 7m plus 9 from the trinomial 9m squared plus 8m plus 4. To solve this one, we will have the quantity of 9m squared plus 8m plus 4 minus the quantity of 6m squared minus 7m plus 9. 9m squared plus 8m plus 4 is the minuend or the first polynomial. And 6m squared minus 7m plus 9 is the subtrahend or the second polynomial. Applying the following steps in subtracting polynomials. First, keep the minuend. 9m squared plus 8m plus 4. Nothing will change. Next, change the subtraction symbol to addition symbol from minus sign to plus sign. Then change the sign of each term in the subtrahend. We will have negative 6m squared plus 7m minus 9. We can now simplify it. Adding the similar terms, we will have 9m squared plus negative 6m squared. Add the numerical coefficients. 9 plus negative 6 is positive 3. Then copy the same literal coefficient which is m squared. So we will have positive 3m squared.
Next, positive 8m plus positive 7m. Add the numerical coefficients. 8 plus 7 is 15. Then copy the same literal coefficient, which is m. So we will have positive 15m. And last, positive 4 plus negative 9. We will have negative 5. Therefore, the difference is 3m squared plus 15m minus 5. To subtract it vertically, write the first polynomial and keep it the same. Next, change the subtraction symbol to addition symbol from minus sign to plus sign. Next, change the sign of each term in the subtrahend. So we will have negative 6m squared plus 7m minus 9. Since the similar terms are all lined up, we can now simplify it. Adding the similar terms, we will have 9m squared plus negative 6m squared. Add the numerical coefficients, 9 plus negative 6 is 3. Then add the same literal coefficient, which is m squared. So we will have 3m squared. Next, positive 8m plus positive 7m. Add the numerical coefficients, 8 plus 7 is 15, then copy the literal coefficient, which is m. So we will have positive 15m. Lastly, positive 4 plus negative 9 is equal to negative 5. Therefore, the difference is 3m squared plus 15m minus 5. Are you ready for the next and last activity? Alright, let's play Fact or Bluff. In this activity, all you have to do is to write F if the given statement is a fact and B if it is bluff. You have 5 seconds to write your answer in our comment box below. Number 1. The sum of the polynomial 7x squared minus x plus 5 and 10x squared plus 8x minus 7 is 17x squared plus 7x minus 2. Is it F or B? You have 5 seconds to answer. Go! If your answer is letter F, then you are correct. Number 2. The difference when the expression 2m minus 9 is subtracted from 5m plus 3 is 3m minus 6. Is it F or B? 5 seconds, go! Very good. The correct answer is B because the difference must be 3m plus 12. Next, number 3. The simplified form of the expression 3x plus 6 minus 10x plus 2 is 7x plus 8. Is it F or B? 5 seconds, go! The correct answer is B because the simplified form must be negative 7x plus 8. Number 4. The sum of the polynomial 10p squared minus 25pr plus 50r squared and its opposite is equal to 0. Is it F or B? 5 seconds, go!
Very good. The correct answer is letter F. The number five, the difference when the expression 2AB is subtracted from negative 2AB is 4AB. Is it F or B? Five seconds, go! If your answer is letter B, then you are correct. Because the difference must be negative 4AB. To sum up the important points of our today's lesson, to add polynomials, simply combine similar terms. And to combine similar terms, get the sum of the numerical coefficient and copy the same literal coefficients. To subtract polynomials, keep the minuend or the first polynomial, change the subtraction symbol to addition symbol, change the sign of each term in the subtrahend or the second polynomial, then simplify by combining like terms. Let us now proceed with a question and answer portion regarding our lesson today. If you have any question, just type it in the comment section below and our teacher moderator will take note of them. We are just going to answer a few questions, but don't worry. For sure, your subject teachers are there to answer your queries on your follow-up discussion tomorrow. For the first question, how can we add or subtract polynomials having dissimilar terms? Again, we can only add or subtract similar terms. If terms are not similar, we can't combine them together. We just leave them separate. Next, for the second question, is there another easy way to get the sum and difference of the polynomials? There are other ways to add or subtract polynomials. You can use the algebra tiles. The approach I presented to you is just one of them. Just bear in mind that most of the approaches in adding and subtracting polynomials require the combining of similar terms. Your subject teacher may share with you other strategies tomorrow in your follow-up discussion. For your assignment, answer what's more and what I can do of quarter 2, lesson 6, pages 17 to 18 on your self-learning module. Before we end, I would like to share this quote. In life, being able to be happy with less is the best way to truly understand more. And that ends our discussion for today. This is Sir Eldrin A. Espinosa of Gente de Leon National High School. Always remember, ano man ang sitwasyon, tuloy ang edukasyon. Thank you and God bless everyone. Keep safe 